Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna cover the content of BTEC Level 3, Unit 3, Break-Even Analysis, part of Business Finance. What is break-even? Break-even is the point at which a business is neither making a profit or a loss, meaning that the money that they're receiving from their sales is the same as the money that they're spending on their cost. What are the type of costs that a business can have? One is variable cost. The cost varies depending on the output of the product or service. Then there is semi-variable cost. Semi-variable cost is when part of the cost will stay the same and the other part will vary depending on the situation. For example, getting fixed wages or salary, but then the payment can increase depending on the busy periods that you work. Fixed cost, that's cost that stay the same and will not vary with the output. For example, rent. And then there's total cost. And to work out total cost, you do fixed cost plus variable cost. What are the types of sales that a business can have? There's total revenue. So that's the amount of money that is coming into the business from sales generated. And that is calculated by quantity sold times by the selling price. Total sales. Total sales is the number of sales made in a specific period of time, such as in a month or a year. Selling price per unit. That is the amount that the customer will pay for the product or the service. Sales in value. Sales expressed in monetary value and sales in volume is sales expressed in quantity. Break even is when total revenue equals total cost. Here are some key equations that you've got to learn when it comes to break even. So break even, how do you calculate break even? To calculate break even, you do fixed cost divided by the contribution per unit. To work out contribution per unit, you do the selling price minus the variable cost per unit. To work out total contribution, you do sales revenue minus the total variable cost. To work out total variable cost, you can either do variable cost per unit times by the quantity, or you can do contribution per unit times by the number of units that are sold. Now, margin of safety. Margin of safety is the number of units sold above or below the break-even point, and it's calculated as the actual, the actual sales minus the break-even level of output. Here's a worked example. So Amy is making biscuit boxes. Her fixed cost will be £100. Her variable cost will be £5 per box, and she's going to produce 50 boxes. The selling price of the biscuit boxes will be £10. So we now need to work out her break even. So what we do is you do fixed cost divided by the contribution per unit. To work out the contribution per unit, you do the selling price minus the variable cost per unit. And as we can see, her selling price is £10 and her variable cost per unit is £5. So we minus the both and we get 5 So then we do break even, which is the fixed cost, which is £100. Minus, divided by the contribution per unit, which is £5, and that will give us 20. So her break even, to break even, Amy needs to make 20 biscuit boxes. Now, how do we draw a break even chart? So the first step is that you need to draw your axes. You need to add your labels, for example, cost and sales on the vertical axes and then output on the horizontal axes. Now, the second step, you need to draw your fixed cost line. Remember, this stays the same regardless of the amount of output. Therefore, it's just a horizontal straight line. Step three, you need to draw your variable cost line. So you at zero output, variable cost is going to be zero pounds. As the output increases, the variable cost will also increase. Therefore, the variable cost line is going to slope upwards from zero. Step four, you need to draw your total cost line. Remember, total cost are fixed cost plus variable cost. So the total cost line therefore starts from the fixed from starts at the fixed cost point and it slopes upwards. Notice the total cost line is parallel to the variable cost line. Step five. You need to draw your total revenue line. If no units are sold, total revenue will be zero pounds. 
our sales increase, the total revenue will also increase. The total revenue line therefore slopes upwards from zero. And in the last step, step six, you need to identify the break even point. Identify where the total cost line crosses the total revenue line. So you draw a line downwards to the axis and read off the break even level of output. Now, identifying the area of profit and loss. Break even is where the business is neither making a profit or a loss. If the business is selling less than their break even level, then they are making a loss. And if the business is making more than their break even level, then they are making a profit. Advantages and disadvantages of contribution per unit. The advantages of contribution per unit is that it's easy to calculate, it helps calculate break even, and it can be used to make decisions. However, the disadvantages of contribution per unit is that it does not take into account fixed cost and it does not take into account unexpected costs. What's the uses of break-even analysis? One, it's used for planning. So it can help set budgets, help the business know when they're going to start making a profit and help pricing decisions. Two, it helps monitoring. It helps monitor the business's progress. It helps identify changes, take actions if the business is falling behind. It helps the business control. It helps keep the cost within budget and manage sales. And it helps the business set targets. So it helps them set sales targets and helps them set budgets. What's the advantages of break-even analysis? It helps the business know how many items they must sell in order to break even. It helps the business set targets. It identifies the fixed and variable cost of the business. And it's easy to calculate the profit or loss of the business. What's the disadvantages of a break-even analysis? It does not consider the variations in the price or the selling price. It is a forecast, hence the break-even point might not be reached. And if the target is set too high, it might be harder for the business to reach. That help, Hopefully that video helped you to understand break-even. You can pause and try out these practice questions and test your knowledge. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more of these videos, then subscribe. You can follow my Instagram for updates on videos and resources, and you can also find resources to this video in my test link.